George Donnelly here with Raw Liberty number 24. Let's talk about Trump's immigration plan and how utterly ridiculous this is. Now, first of all, Trump says uh, that he's going to move out between 10 and 30 million illegal aliens on day one. With the background, of course, of four U.S. flags. <laughs> I mean, how many U.S. flags are really necessary here? Okay, we, we get the point. All right. He's going to move them out from day one. He's going to hire thousands of new Border Patrol agents. He's going to build a wall that's uh, even better than the one that Kurt Russell, uh, you know, evaded in uh, Escape from New York and Escape from L.A. Um, and, and in the end, he says, we're all going to win. Uh, this is just a bit too much. First of all, where is all the money going to come from? The wall, the Border Patrol agents, and he says he's not just going to dump the illegals on the other side of the border. He's going to fly them back to their original countries, deep, deep into their original countries, not just on the other side of the border. Uh, and as Trump even mentions in his speech on immigration yesterday, the government is $20 trillion in debt. So where is he going to pull the money from? Second of all... Um, just the idea of interrupting the the nation by moving up to 10% of its population around. Uh, you know, where is he going to find the buses for this? Where is he going to find the planes? Uh, you know, there, there just isn't that much uh, slack in the transportation system to move all these people. And he brags, he's going to start from day one. They're, he's going to start moving people out. You know, we know who they are. We have lists. And he's going to start building that wall on day one, and Mexico's still going to pay for it somehow. Uh, it's it's just not credible. It's not credible. Now, what's the libertarian position on it? Now, some libertarian people who, who are in favor of government will say, yeah, we should definitely not have illegal people here. Um, others say we should have an open border policy. Because guess what? The war on drugs, which is part of the problem there, a huge part of the problem there on the border with Mexico, the U.S. government has been fighting that for how many decades now? And it keeps losing. Because the war on drugs, just like the war on immigration, is a war on trade. As if that, that I mean, that, that just makes, no, how can you make war on people trading, you know? Hey, I, I got this uh, marble. You want to trade me for some gum? No, no, no. We, you know, let's fire drone drone missiles at that stuff. Let's have drones per, per, uh, patrolling that area. We can't have any unpermitted trade, you know, uh, because that's what drugs are. People want them. There's a demand for it. And likewise, there is a demand in the United States, a high demand for uh, uh, outside workers. For whatever reason, there are lots of reasons. Americans don't want to do the jobs. Americans uh, can't be counted on. Americans want too much money. Whatever the reason is, whether you think it's a good reason or not, it's a reason. It exists. You can't stop it. And Trump even says he's going to put sensors under the wall to detect the tunnels. I mean, come on. You know, really, you know, and it, he 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 criticizes the previous administrations for failing to uh, properly keep track of people, for failing to uh, deport them on time. Well, well you know, you're going to move in on day one. How are you going to do anything differently? You have to contend, Donald Trump, with the same bureaucracy, the same people who you say have been screwing up for years, uh, decades even. How are you going to change that on day one? Are you going to fire everybody? You know, uh, it's ridiculous. Um, you know, but let's, you know, Donald Trump makes out illegal aliens to be, you know, evil people. You know, he takes the case of uh, Sarah Root, who was killed by uh, an illegal uh, drunk who was driving drunk. And the case of, uh, I believe it was uh, Ron Scott Ronebeck, who was shot by an illegal alien um, out on bail uh, over cigarettes, okay? So both of these cases, the you know, it's like not the illegal aliens don't have a monopoly on driving drunk. 
Uh, illegal il aliens don't have a monopoly on shooting people over nothing. Okay, you're, you're not going to end those kinds of in incidents just by, you know, flying 30 million people out of the country. You know, it, it doesn't, it, we're talking, we're talking about humans, you know, this is human nature, these things happen. Um, and second of all, the problem with um, the the killer in the case of uh, Sarah Root and um, and also this this guy in the case of Ronebeck Scott Ronebeck who was out on bail, um, that's a lax judicial system. That that's that's a problem there. That's a serious contributor to those situations. So, you know, what are libertarian anarchists have to say about this? You know, our general rule is uh, open borders, let people move freely. But let's say, you know, we're, we're big fans of decentralization. So let's say you want to have a community and you don't want any illegal immigrants there. Well, uh, you know, the federal and state governments, they're, they're not, they're not going to like that because they want to say that they own the roads and that uh, they have certain uh, laws against discrimination and whatnot. And um, you're not going to be able to do that under the current system where so much power is held at the top. But libertarians say, yeah, go ahead, buy your land, build your community, you know, organize it uh, however you want, as long as everything is voluntary. And if you want to keep illegal aliens out, that's fine. You know, we don't care. Do, you know, make yourself happy. Go, go for it. And if you organize a, a country around this principle of voluntary communities making their own rules, and if all the communities uh, agree on these rules, then you can effectively uh, ban uh, illegal aliens and much more effectively than by relying on, on government rules that are frequently bent and by relying on government uh, courts and police who are ineffectual, understaffed, um, not market-based, and therefore they have no incentives to serve the needs of the community because they get paid no matter what happens. But the bottom line is that Trump's immigration uh, speech is, is ridiculous. If he actually did it, it would cause enormous disruptions and costs that uh, nobody is prepared to bear. And he can't do it. He's promising ridiculous things, utterly ridiculous things, like that he's, everything's going to change on day one and he's going to build this wall with drones watching over it. Um, you know, a libertarian, libertarian ideas on how to handle illegal immigration, how to organize communities in decentralized ways are, have a lot more to offer than, than this demagogue talking nonsense.